Okay, here we go again, and uh, then I will just continue with the assemble, the uh, shutter assembly in the um, Mamiya Sequo C 127 and 3.8 for the Mamiya RB. So, um, yeah, now it's it, uh, yeah, it looks really good. So, I will just flip up this spring here and then put the um, put the yeah the aperture assembly over the shutter assembly because uh, if you do it the opposite way well <laughs> the plates will all fall off <clears throat> so again my marks here that I said in the beginning, this uh, line here, it will go through the, the yeah, <laughs> the hole here, so I can see the the red line. <clears throat> it's just my mark. So remember the spring here. This spring it has to be bent out a little. I mean move out a little is um, is actually important <clears throat> because it will make it easier for you to put the shutter assembly into the um, aperture assembly house or the shutter housing <clears throat> so we begin putting in in over this way and uh, we just have to do it correct and one thing remember this notch here <coughs> sorry it's uh, going actually um, where do we have it actually with this part up here and it will make it easier actually it's more for the shot up blade with one curved, now I actually see that, now I better understand it. You see, this blade here has a bend that will go up. And uh, of course, it needs to have room enough to actually move into <clears throat> when the shutter is open. So that's why, okay, it makes sense. Well, now I'll see things more clearly. Sorry for that. <clears throat> so now we can actually put it in and everything's correct, assembled. Uh, so we just put it over here and hopefully there. And it goes there click something says <clears throat> hopefully everything is fine now let's see if it works I mean I will just put in two screws there and so I have a better control of what actually going on <clears throat> So there and the other, the opposite side of the shutter. So now it will be interesting to see if uh, if I have done it correct. So so now it should be possible to move the um, the shutter plates in an easy way. Wow! Hehe. <laughs> It works as it should. And you see over here the uh, blade will actually go into this uh, arm here. This arm here. <coughs> I have to open it a little. And this, uh, no, it's difficult to see. 
but the lower arm here this I move not this one but the other one the lower has to be all the way over to here and then it's possible to move this pin which was the one I, I uh, welded in I mean soldering it in with silver <clears throat> so now everything is, is actually in place and um, now it's just all the way um, in reverse order I mean, almost just need to put some screws in there And we can also uh, add the cocking ring with the with all the ball bearings and the pins, tiny brass <coughs> pins that comes in. So now we actually save home in a way. <laughs> Interesting stuff. So. Yeah, I just think I will just do it that way. Now, this pin here has a little pin too. So when I put this cocking ring on, one have to be aware of uh, <coughs> this. Put the pin on, I mean put the spring on long spring here uh, we can do it that way and you have to be aware of the spring does not uh, bind in a way or you will uh, probably damage the spring so something like that like that <laughs> Uh, and hopefully it will stay there everything works as it should and it's, it seems like it, it's fine so now I can actually put in all the springs the 12 steel balls and um, the the steel balls and the pins here so you can just put them in here and I will just make little just see if, if this will work uh, and then add the, the steel ball which uh, maybe I think I will just use this one where did it went here <clears throat> Where did it go? Oh, here. Chalice. And then here. I think we'll make it. And then it's good with a tweezer that is non magnetic. Because if not, it will be almost impossible to get the spring, I mean, <laughs> get the steel ball in. So there. It 
It's not that hard. So there. And there. So. Hmm. It could be worse, <laughs> but uh, I think we will make it. And before we continue, just load a uh, screwdriver with um, with a screw, because then it will make it easier for you to when putting on the plate that covers all the the pins and the steel balls so now we are almost there it didn't take long and you maybe have to adjust it a little so there And this pin goes in. Another steel ball. And um, see, we have to move them closer to each other. Don't push too much. <coughs> There's not much room in here to to actually go wrong because um, then the steel ball or the pins will. Uh, flew away. So now we're here, which is uh, which actually good. Whew. Yeah, I think it will be fine. I think so, yeah. Then comes the plate on, and since I have my my mark up here, it will be the pin that sits here this one hopefully you can see it this pin here it's also the mark I set in in the beginning <coughs> so it should be possible to just put this on and then screw the uh, the cover plate here on and um, so those without a mark is for the cross head so there and the other two is for the bigger screw I mean the bigger head the screw head oh safe home. So now it's possible to move it. It feels much better. Yeah. Things are going quite good in a way. And we can just add the two other screws here. Hmm. Tighten it gently. I think those screws are quite soft in a way. So now, whoa, that's actually good. Then we can uh, flip it over and say uh, that's fine because then we can just continue with the 
assemble the rest of the shutter with all the, the parts in here. <coughs> So something like that and all the parts on this side here comes in here and of course the other side is the parts over here. So and all 12 steel balls and all 12 pins are in so that's quite good. <laughs> so now yeah The, um, I will start with the side over here and put in the parts that needs to go in here. And uh, where's my tweezer here? Okay, we lay take the little gear wheel here, put it on so it sits there, and then. This part goes in. Mm. If it's possible. So there. Ah. It's good to have more than one tweezer. <laughs> and now this part, this uh, spring goes in. And it has to sit in that position. So, and it fall into place. Maybe I can go a little closer. So there. Yeah. So now it sits where it should. And this this part comes in, um, and it this uh, end of the spring here will go on this side, this side of the pin here. Oh, it's difficult to see. This side of the pin it has to sit on this little tap that goes out there. And uh, before doing so, I will just uh, prepare my screwdriver with this little screw uh, because then it will just be easier to when the parts sit where they should and then add the screwdriver so and it will go in there so there And this one also have to be activated by the spring. So this one has to sit there. Um, and it also in the other end, this uh, hole here, there was a pin underneath here. <coughs> and it has to go there. This is kind of a lock pin, lock hole. So now I can just put in my spring, my the screw and uh, tighten it gently. So there, now it sits, <coughs> and um, then this little spring will come in, and it has to sit there over this pin with that tool here so this one has to sit there there's a little spring and the short end goes into here the other end actually goes around here and around this uh, pin here if 
it's possible. So now it sits there. As you can see, it will close the shutter plates. <coughs> and now the um, this pass this part goes in and it will go something like that and it's on the other side of this uh, pin here so it sits like that and there will also be a little spring that uh, will come over here but before doing so I will just put in this part here because you need to push this uh, open then add this little part mm. I think it's just better to take this off then add this part here, put it over and flip it out through the hole here. So and you see it has to be there because all the way over here but you can just put it all the way over here. Then flip this out again and put on this part here so and do so so this one can actually push on the on the uh, mechanism here and push the plate open oh sorry <laughs> of course it miss the uh, the little lock clip here so, oh, where did it go here? Hmm. Yeah, I think I will just use my screwdriver here and hopefully put it on there and very, very gently press it on. So there and it sits where it should. That's actually great. <laughs> Something is working and then we can put this spring on here and uh, flip this over. <coughs> so it's better to turn it a little. I know. Sit. Hope you can see it now. <clears throat> so this end here, this end here, goes under the part here that will um, be on that side. So we can hopefully put it on. <clears throat> And with a little dentist tool, press it down a little. So it's there. <coughs> oh, sorry. There and uh, should be possible to put it in here. I'll show you. Now the spring sits like that here and we can hopefully get it out there. Okay, I can press here. Hold on. There. Push on the uh, on the outside here to open the blades a little and then move this spring 
into place. So now it sits where it should. That was part of it, but we need also to put in the, the small lock ring here. And again with my magnetized screwdriver. Hopefully it will be possible to put in. And press this part down a little so there's space enough. So there. And so click, it says now it's in. So uh, that's actually very good. <laughs> now, <clears throat> and we continue with the uh, with the other parts that will go on this uh, side over here. And uh, we begin with the um, hmm. yeah. I think it will begin with this part that makes the uh, connection for the for the flash contact in in here and it goes on to that pin here and uh, be sure it's on the right side of the I mean the correct side of this part here so it has to go through here something like that so there and uh, yeah we'll just see how it will go one spring has to go in first. It will say this this spring here. And it has to go over the pin here. Mm -hmm. There. So there. Hold on a second. There was just one thing I should check. So sorry for that. Now this spring has a uh, shorter end with a bend and a long end. And uh, it has to go over this pin here. And we can just help it a little. So it can go on. Now come on, little fellow. So now here we are, and it will be connected to the to this pin here, <coughs> and we also have to put this on here, <coughs> move it a little. And uh, maybe it's better if I put this part in here first, as I can see. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not easy. Now, to get this part here on that pin here, I need to move this this part here out. Uh, I mean, closer to the inner circle by moving the 
the uh, I mean to open the blades and then I can push this all the way over to here then put this on see something like that and then push it out here so now I know where it is and it sits correct so and then I can open this I mean push this back to the place again by opening the blades a little so push this part open and open the blades a little so this pin down here so this pin down here will get this pin in here to move into place so you can see something like that and then it sits correct now I can also put the lock screw in uh, this tiny screw here that will go all the way into here mm -hmm. there so that was part of it and then simply put this spring into place where it has to sit oh, it's better with a dented tweezer so there it will go there where it sits correct so now you can see where it sits there and now I can uh, then add my flash contact part here by um, let's see if it's possible to go a little closer so there does not have the best macro but anyway so this pin goes in where it should sit so I need to open the two small pins here and simply uh, add Oh, this is difficult <laughs> and then it will stay there and I can hopefully put it down there go through it and then with a dentist tool open the this uh, the lower I know it's difficult to see but open the lower part and then slide the the flash into place and then it sits where it should that's good now then we add the spring um, this spring here that will go on to here uh, it will go over here and catch this side of the um, of this part and it has to hook in here so something like that eh. no it's a bit difficult to see so 
Now it sits like that and have one end under this uh, part, it will say here in the corner. So I can actually move this uh, spring all the way over to if it's possible there. Now it's just it like that. And one can push it a little over. So it sits uh, correct. Now we are almost there. <laughs> Looks fine. So if I open the blades here like this, this one goes there. Cannot go any further. Yeah. Oops. So next part will be the this uh, plate here will go on. Oh, there's one thing t also to mention that this uh, this spring here will also go down here. So then it stays there, and this part goes there, there. So now I can actually uh, put this plate on, so it stays there. Then add the MX lever, so it stays there. And this one has to stay on the other side, it will stay there. So it will do so and so. Now, then the tiny lock ring. It can be a little difficult to get off, but uh, let's see how it will go. There and then press it in, hopefully. No, it's difficult. See? Mm. So there. Comes in. Yes. So it sits. Click. Phew. Now, that was part of it, and then we can uh, continue with the with the uh, let's see this part here, maybe. <laughs> this one goes in here, and it should stay here. So, and there is also a little hair spring, as you hopefully can see. Now the, uh, the the curved end has to go over the pin here. And we hopefully can screw it in. there so 
So gently tighten it there and the curved end will go onto the little brass pin here. So I move the spring all the way up to here. So and one end, the other end, has to go on this side of this pin. And of course it can be a little tricky, but with a dented tweezer it's uh, hopefully m much easier. So, there, oh, sorry, there it is, now you can see it's around and then it sits where it should. So one can actually move it right now. So that's it. And if I do so. Haha, <laughs> things looks like it's working. Hmm. Now the next thing is the um, uh, where does it go here? This part here <coughs> will also come on, and it has to stay there. But maybe, maybe, maybe I should put in the part of this uh, the advance gear so something like that mm -hmm. And let's see how it will go. If I open the shutter here. Of course I need to open the shutter. As it was in the beginning. part has to come over here. Oh, hold on a second. So there and then put this on. Then put it in. So, should stay there. <clears throat> and oh, sorry. Nope. It doesn't have to sit there like that. It it will not work. It has to sit like that here. Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> and now um, let's see. So this part will go in. And we need two small screws. Where's my screwdriver here? There. So 
code there. <laughs> and so let's see. Just have it back again. See if there is something wrong. Somebody else maybe can see there is something wrong. Yeah, maybe. There is. So there. So, I think we are on the right track. So, there. And uh, then, now, let's see. Get this part on the right place. So, well, uh, let's see if it will go <laughs> and work. <laughs> so I can hopefully add the spring here. Has to sit over there. Mm. And again, this tool I made in the beginning, I mean, <laughs> show in the beginning uh, it will then I have to move it all the way over here and be into the locking position it will say it there so now things hopefully should sit where they should <laughs> Now, let's forward and uh, put this in the slow gear. It has to sit there. And again, this uh, part has to go out and sit there. So you can see this pin here has to I mean you have to push it a little out so it's uh, on this side of the the uh, this part here and then add the three screws you just start with the two small Enter there. Don't tighten it yet. It sits in there. And then the other screw that sits uh, there. goes in there ah. doesn't it was not good we 
just try again and here we go and then the long screw that sits in the other end here and we can just uh, tighten it for now I mean not too much but uh, you will see uh, then the uh, this part comes in <coughs> As you can see, there is a, uh, a curved end. The other end will go, I mean, into this notch here, this notch here. So when we put it over, this pin here, I mean this hole here goes into that and so we just put it over a little and then with a dented tweezer it uh, would be easier to put it on here At the same time, this part that is under it, this part, this part I move right now, it has to be on the uh, correct side. So when pushing down the spring here, so there, and with a tool you just can press it out there it should stay and the spring has to go into that notch so so now it sits correct as you can see here so hopefully <laughs> Hopefully it will work. <laughs> we don't know yet, but uh, let's see. Now the um, cocking gear sit there. And then the cocking ring. One end is, uh, I set a mark in the beginning with a red dot here. This is where the spring, one end of the spring belongs to, is connected to. There, hook it on, and then put the uh, the ring here, the cocking ring, on. And the springs are a bit tight. Eh. And also another thing, <laughs> there are many things. This uh, pin here has to say stay on this side of the advance uh, ring because I mean the cocking ring. Uh, let's see how it'll go. Hmm. It's not that easy. And then we are here. Almost there. This one goes in there. And it also have to go on the right side of this part. Ah, difficult to see. 
this one has to be pushed up a little so it stays there and it has to go on there and uh, then also on the other side <laughs> many things to go through so we can just uh, put try to advance it I mean turn the cooking ring so this into there Whew. I think I think things will work but let's put the um, the speed ring on and uh, hopefully <laughs> it will work as it should and there is something here and there is a pin there so okay that is life in a way So, and uh, I will just try to put the uh, the lock ring over, and <laughs> hopefully advance the shutter. Okay. Wow. Things <laughs> seems to actually working. Uh -huh. Maybe there are some adjustment. Uh, I think there will be. It's a little too fast. Let's see if I go to the other end. We can just uh, fully open the the aperture and see how through Ow. so <laughs> it seems like things are working wow <laughs> that's really good now then we just need to put all the parts in um, yeah, it will um, happen in the next video. So, uh, if uh, yeah, it will be way too long. So, uh, see you soon. <laughs>